Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is a new moon reading uh, for you and how your energies are going to play out uh, in this new moon in Taurus. So I'm using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major energy for you. And we do have the Tower coming out. Do not freak out. Um, this is going to the energy of I feel like you're going to be breaking down energies, uh, possibly things in your life, doing a lot of purging. So this is not negative when it's a new moon reading, okay? Now let's go ahead and I'm using the Morgan Greer for your tarot reading. Now new moon in Taurus represents new beginnings, taking a leap of faith, starting something new, you guys. So we're going to see... How it's going to be affecting you, Sagittarius. Now, I also want you to keep in mind, in my opinion, with this uh, new moon in Taurus, this could really affect you, I feel like, a few days before. And most definitely at the new moon's peak and, uh, you know, several days after. And that's my opinion. And I feel like that that energy stays with you. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at your tarot here. All right, we are ready, Sagittarius. We have the Page of Cups, the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups, Four of Swords, the Three of Rods, the Hierophant, and the Page of Swords. All right, so what I've noticed right off, um, 99 may mean something uh, to some of you, and 44 uh, may also mean something to some of you that may be very significant in your life. Let's go ahead and let's look at this tower, Sagittarius. This is a representation I feel like uh, you may be going through during this new moon in Taurus. Uh, this is breaking down bad habits, purging your feelings, emotional breakthrough that is being allowed to take place. So you can move forward uh, in your life, whether you're on a spiritual path um, or starting a new beginning in your life as well. So this is not a bad or negative energy that's coming in here. This is just... Uh, Things that may need to be done in order for you to move forward, Sagittarius. Now, let's take a look at your tarot cards here. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Four of Swords. The Page of Cups is the energy of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is all about sensitivity, psychic energy. Uh, some of you may be feeling very strong about... Uh, your energies and uh, maybe having foresight as well, uh, listening to your intuition, paying attention to your own inner wisdom and knowledge um, above others instead of listening to other people. I feel like you're going to come in a space uh, during this new moon in Taurus, Sagittarius, where you're going to start to trust your own intuition and you're going to listen to which direction you want to go. All right, I feel like you're going to be trusting in the universe. Now, this is going to come about, I feel like, with this Four of Swords energies uh, coming through here by possibly taking a step back, meditating, temporary retreat to do time of contemplation. Uh, and I feel like this is where you're going to start listening to this psychic energy that is opening up for you. Now, we have the Hermit clarified by the Three of Rods. The Hermit is the energy of Virgo. This is all about spiritual enlightenment, um, going within, doing a time of introspection in order to decide which direction you're wanting to, to you know, go down. And also having this inner peace and patience with yourself and understanding and having this wisdom and knowledge of this new energy that's coming into your uh, life with this uh, 
psychic energy for you and this can you know you guys this can be a tower uh, moment as well when you start to have spiritual downloads or you're awakening you're going through an awakening process and uh, this is something that maybe you haven't been through before or it's starting to open up and happen more frequently um, it, it can be very exciting as and and, and very um, for some people it's very scary as well okay uh, but listen to your intuition now, this with the Three of Wands, this is all about you having foresight and you're gaining this foresight from going within and listening to your own inner wisdom and inner truths. This is the energy of you've planted your seeds. Um, now you've nurtured them and you're waiting on your ships to come in. You having foresight of where you're going, Sagittarius. This is all about expansion and growth as well. So whatever you've planted, whatever those seeds that you're waiting to come back. There's a lot of growth that's going to come back with that energy. Now we have the Nine of Cups. Clarified by the Hierophant. The Nine of Cups is beautiful. This is the Wish Fulfillment card. This is emotional satisfaction and pleasure. Um, I feel like you guys uh, have really done a lot of inner work within yourself. And you have blessings coming in here from the universe with this coming through. Now, it is clarified by the Hierophant, and this is the energy of Taurus. Now, remember, we are, this reading is all about your energies uh, that is taking place within this to, uh, new moon in Taurus. So, it's very interesting that this comes up here. This is a, a, a card that's all about making sure that you're very centered. Uh, this could be you getting with others and transmitting ideas back and forth. This could be something to do with a spiritual path, re, uh, religious factors. Um, you hold the keys here of knowledge, hidden knowledge as well as what I'm seeing. Some of you may be getting into the occult or just seeking hidden truths and knowledge. Uh, for others of you, this is can represent higher institutions, but I feel like you're a beacon, a role model for others. People come to you. They seek out your advice, Sagittarius, with this energy coming through here. Now we have the Four of Cups clarified by the Page of Swords. The Four of Cups sometimes can represent maybe a little bit of hesitation, uh, doubt, maybe needing to do some you know, introspection time before you make a decision. Uh, maybe it's got to do with this wish fulfillment, this blessing that's coming in. Don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself, Sagittarius, because you've got this. You have beautiful energies through here. Now we have the Page of Swords clarifying this energy. The Page of Swords is the energy of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this is where you leave this self-doubt behind. Uh, and you take action, all right? So this is ready for action. This is you using logic and reason uh, and listening to your intuition to move you forward to even gain even more truth and understanding and knowledge in your situation. So this is a very powerful reading. I feel like this is the most spiritual reading. You're my last reading out of all of the signs. And you guys are really doing a lot of inner work. You're starting to recognize the divine that is flowing through you with the psychic energy, Sagittarius. Very nice. Um, like I said, you're, you know, getting rid of the old and the new is coming in here. You're purging out anything that's not serving your best interest. Please leave me a comment, Sagittarius, and let me know how these energies are playing out with you during this new moon in Taurus. I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.